impediment to doing an ultrasound right now in any emergency department is really access to the machine itself. That's been the, the, the barrier that we've always had, is do we have access to the technology when we need it to be able to make a difference? But having the machine in your pocket and having it be any one of the three transducers, there's really no more excuses. You can use one single transducer to look at structures that are in the near field and then structures that are deeper in the body. If I was going to do the RUSH protocol, where it involves multiple different body areas, multiple different applications, I can do that much quicker with a butterfly device versus a standard car bay system. I no longer need to change transducers. That blows up the entire ultrasound playing field. So that's a big deal. Yeah, you can do it all with one probe. It's amazing. Not have to switch. I could really picture you just carrying this with you instead of a <laughs> stethoscope. There's a kidney. Kidney. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. good. Looks, that, oh, that's good. It's really yeah. sharp, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Image quality is great. I get to see what I want to see. I get the I get the answers that I need to get answered. Found my vein. And the resolution is is really very nice for a handheld device. You know, it's smaller, but on as good a quality as the uh, as the big machine. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. And so I did the parasternal long and then the subxiphoid, and I've never found it on parasternal long so fast. Right when it went into the right place, it was super clear. So I was kind of shocked. From a point of care standpoint, this certainly answers most of the questions. I'm looking for. So I'm able to, this is the function of the heart, I'm able to look at the right heart. The interface you have with the patient you now has kind of changed where it's not a big scary procedure. It's mm -hmm. like it's kind of like here, this is what, let's see your body, let's look inside. This actually is great I think. So I can just sneak this in and get a quick exam and then get out of the way of other people who are doing stuff. And the fact that you can control the gain with your thumb so you can, uh, you know, while you're in there, you're not trying to hustle with knobs. If I had it in my pocket, I would not have to search for it. And then I would be able to use it while I was at the bedside of the patient on my initial examination of the patient. Getting IVs in the nurses, I mean, just so much easier to see when you're trying to place an IV. So many applications. It's beyond just the traditional things we think of ultrasound being used, but in other areas as well that we really have never even explored before because we haven't had the technology that allows us to do it. I would just carry it in my pocket and use it a lot more than I currently use my machine. It, it will absolutely revolutionize how we think about ultrasound. I scanned with it, especially going from phase to linear to curve. I almost had to sit down. They explained to me the way that this matrix, this chip is, you can steer the beam any way you need to and it started to like all of a sudden make a ton of sense to me and of course we should be able to do this and of course in the future there's only going to be one transducer. That just needed to happen and it finally happened. I just had to kind of take a moment and process that. That was very exciting.